let's get going. Okay, I'm so excited. Um, right, so I'm just gonna prime first, and today I'm gonna be using the Revolution Pore Blur Primer. And I'm so technical with this, honestly. It's like this, th the amount of technicality will just blow your mind. <gasps> so technical. Right, okay. Um, so, something a bit different that I've wanted to kind of do video style wise was more kind of chatty get ready with me type still slapping the old face on but having a bit of a chat i feel like we don't chat much at the moment which makes me sad um so yeah let's let's do that then shall we so primer done that's done do you put the lid on when you're finished uh next we need to do some colour correcting. Um, I tell you what I noticed whilst I was on holiday, that I've got a massive blue vein down the side of my face. Like I've really struggled with makeup to um, match the halves of my face together. I feel like makeup works on this side sometimes and not on this side, which has really been twisting my melon. But we noticed on holiday that I've got a huge blue vein going down the side of my face there and a little bit of discoloration as well. What's that about? What's that about? No wonder I'm having troubles. So I need to uh, colour correct a little bit. So I've got the knit, excuse me, my phone's going off. I mean, quiet please, sir. Um, so I've got the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer Corrector situations. So I've got the yellow one first, which I'm gonna just use where Mr. Vaney Chops is. And also just on the dark bits under my eyes. I've also got quite a few veins in my eyelids as well, so let's just get in there. If you can hear any weird noises, my washing machine is currently spinning in the room underneath where I am right now. So just go with it. Just go with it. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with the green revolution cushion thing, if I can get it open. Um, and just block out any redness as well. I usually get it on my nose and on my cheeks. Definitely around my nose. I love colour correcting. It looks absolutely bonkers until you do it. <laughs> until you then put your base on and you're like, oh, okay, I see. But at this stage, I'm always like, what am I doing? Strap yourselves in, kids. Um, so basically, I've kind of grown up assuming that everybody hates me. Like, I know a lot of people, but I wouldn't say I've got a lot of friends, really. And I never have had, really. I've never, like, you know, been the one that gets invited to people's weddings and christenings. And I just, I just don't. Um, I'm not the person people call when they need something, which is hilarious because I will absolutely drop anything, at, at, you know, to kind of go and help if you need it. Um, which is why people who know me and I say things like, I'm gonna do a video entitled why people think I'm a bitch. This is why people are really like shook by it because everyone's like, but you're so nice. Right, so I'm just gonna start um, stippling in my foundation and I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish uh, 25 hour, I, don't, I still don't understand why, uh, foundation in the shade 201 Classic Beige, which just sounds like an insult to be honest. I always took it super personally. Like if people were, you know, leaving me out or, you know, I kind of wasn't getting that friend vibe back off people. If I've not got that vibe back, then I've taken it so bloody personally. And it took me a long, long time to realise that that's nothing to do with me. Let me just do my neck because I can't speak whilst I do my neck. You know, it's like that whole RuPaul says, what other people think of me is none of my business. And it's absolutely true. And that's the thing. That's the bit where people think I am so ruthless and such a bitch. Because I've ended up so protective of, you know, my emotions and think I was so, you know, sort of wanting of that approval from people that I was kind of um, not creating boundaries for myself. Because I'm gonna go in now with the cream contour and I'm gonna use the um, Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Cream Kit, which looks like this without the mirror blinding you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cream contour and then we'll powder 
I will go from there. Oh my god, there's like the loudest, buzziest thing in here. Find somewhere to land. Oh god, it's the smallest fly, but it makes the biggest noise, which, you know, okay, fair enough. It's on brand. I'm only concerned at this point with what I think of me and what my kids think of me. Like, it's got to the point where you've got to just sit down and think, okay, what am I actually bothered about? Am I bothered about the opinions of people who aren't actually very nice to me you know we only have a finite amount of time on the planet none of us know whether that's going to be a hundred years whether that's going to be 10 years whether that's going to be tomorrow you've no idea so why are we sitting feeling crap because of other people like no absolutely not and i kind of just think do you know what i've got a really nice boyfriend who is quite rightly thought of as a really nice person i've got two kids who are absolutely amazing and nice people. I've got really nice people around me who also give that back to me. You know, kind of, I give out the, the help, the enthusiasm, the motivation, the kind of chatty friendliness, and I get that back as well. So they're the people I need to concentrate on and they're the people that, you know, kind of should be allowed, for want of a better word, the space in my head, really, you know, if, if I've tried with you and I'm still getting nothing back, then I'll just walk away because my energy is absolutely needed elsewhere. Okay, so just before I crack on, I'm just going to very quickly set this. And when I say set this, I just brush it over because I don't have oily skin. So it doesn't need um, to sit and bake. It doesn't need to cook. Um, my skin isn't as dry and dehydrated as it was, um, but it, it will tend to err towards that side. So I just kind of brush over with the Revolution Translucent Powder. Let me just put some in the lid. And we don't need a lot at all. I literally just dip it in and then brush it over my face. So now that's done, I then go in and powder contour with the Revolution HD Powder Contour Palette in Fair. Okay, let's start chiseling out this five head when i say things like oh i don't have the energy to deal with that i literally don't it's like i just don't and this is where i find things like sitting and doing this is so therapeutic to me because they allow me to take myself out of that a little bit so for you know people to be really like being really like why is she doing that like who cares if you don't like what i'm doing don't watch it <gasps> shocking i know weird isn't it that okay we're finally getting some dimension so let's bronze um so i've got the revolution massive ultra mega bronzer situation doofa and my favorite spectrum a01 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 brush i love this this is perfect size for bronzer for me oh look at that look at that perfect swirly swirl swirly swirl tap tap love it Oh my god, I love this brand that's so much! I've just realised I forgot to put my concealer on and I've powdered now. So there's that. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, so the minute I then started working on me and really paying attention to the situations that weren't making me happy or were not bringing anything to the party whatsoever and the people that weren't bringing anything to the party once i sat down and thought of how the relationships were working oh anymore you good you okay right i'm not gonna blush yet until i've done my eyes and i'm really excited because i'm gonna be trying out the nyx uh set that i got this is the whipped wonderland tin set with the six eyeshadows in at uh, six, eight. With the eight eyeshadows in, and these really remind me of the uh, lid lingerie kind of colours, the very like nude kind of neutral situations. Um, so I'm just gonna try them out and see what happens. Whoa, I need a blending brush. Thinking I'm gonna keep it quite berry toned, so I'm gonna use this purpley situation up there and I'm gonna put that into the outer corner first, just with a blending brush. Oh my God, it's picked up. <gasps> That looks so pigmented on the brush. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God. Oh, that is such a nice burgundy. Oh, I like that. I kind of looked at the relationships with people, kind of looked at what that relationship 
could be like if I removed myself from it. Sounds dramatic, I know, but it kind of showed up a lot of things that I was putting my energy into that I was not getting back. At which point I thought, okay, I'll just remove myself then. And either what will happen is nothing, in which case, okay, that's fine. Or they will then go, oh, oh, I've not heard from Layla for a bit. I'll reach out. And in which case I'm going to know either way what people are thinking. Okay, so I'm just going to start blending this round into the crease area. What has happened from that is um, the fact that lots of people have then had room to enter my life and make a massive difference in it and actually make it a really bloody happy place and a really kind of eye-opener to me to see what actual positive relationships are like with people and not all one-sided. The thing that people are always really shocked at though, and I've actually had the word used, is how ruthless I am with it. I absolutely prioritise having positive relations relationships with people above anything. If you are adding to the negativity, then you're not welcome. And I don't care who you are. You can you could be my mother and I would think that. I don't, mummy. It's okay. I'm just making a point. I have set that boundary and I will absolutely enforce that boundary. And I will do that in real life and I will do that on social media. I really don't care. I really struggle as well with blending both eyes exactly the same. Like, I always get one eye great and then I do the other one and it's like, oh. The biggest bit of advice I can give to people is absolutely set and stick to personal boundaries. Not one person on this planet, not one, has got the right to make you feel bad about yourself or to bring negativity repeatedly into your space. Not one. And if people want to think that you're being stuck up or you're being a bitch or you're being offhand or whatever they're thinking, then let them. Okay, so I've got a flat brush now and I'm gonna go in with a shimmer colour and I think I'm gonna keep it fairly mon monochrome. So I'm gonna go in with this uh, berry purpley pinky shimmer there, which sort of matches the darker shade that we've put into the crease. Yeah, let's get on with that. Oh my God, these are so buttery. <laughs> They're so nice. Oh, I know exactly what lippy I'm gonna put with this as well. Just in case you missed what I was doing, um, finished with the lids, so I'm just going onto the lower lash line with the crease colour, um, just with the same blending brush really. Right, so I've just had to change the battery and I never know whether I've got the zoom the same or the light the same, so I'll just go with it if it looks a bit different, okay? Um, right, I think, yeah, I think I'm done with the eyeshadow, so. I really like that. I really liked how it went on. Went on. Um, actually, should I? Oh, I think I should do a little bit of a gold in a corner. Bear with. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this kind of orangey gold colour down here as an inner corner situation. So I'm just going to use a little pencil brush to really get in. Look at her! Oh my god, I love that so much! I love it, I love it, I love it! Oh my god, that inner corner is so good! I love it! I love it! I love it! I don't think I want to do like a full on upper eyeliner. Hmm. I'll do it. Do we want to do a wing? Let's do a wing. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Why the devil not? So yeah, being positive to me is so important. And that also does mean sometimes you've got to make the hard decisions on who you allow in your life and what kind of energies you allow in your life. And also with the people you do allow into, you, into your life, you know, what kind of boundaries you set with them as well. Um, they're so important because you just can't be walked over. You can't have your energy just sucked out of you until there's nothing left for you. Like you need to be full so that you can then pass that out to everybody, not you're empty because everybody's taking it off you. That's not how the world works. So yeah, it's it's something that's really important. Bear with, because there's no way I'm doing two winged liners whilst having a conversation. So just one minute, just one minute, just one minute. Mm. 
Yeah, so this is me not doing a wing liner. <laughs> Don't forget. Okay, so back to the whole positivity and boundary setting. It's so important. And the thing is that people like to think they're absolutely perfect. We all do it. People like to think they've done nothing wrong to anybody ever in their lives. People like to think they've never been in a bad mood. They've never snapped at somebody because they've had a bad day. And we've all done it. We've all absolutely done it. None of us are perfect. We've all been moody at some point. We've all said some things we shouldn't have said. We've all not apologised where we probably should have apologised. We've all let things go on a bit too long. Everybody's done it. We've all done it. But people like to think they haven't. So when they are the ones on the receiving end of, okay, you are really messing up my um, harmony and the peace in my life and you, you know, I'm just going to keep you at arm's length. I like to think that I've got um, sort of ever decreasing circles and the circle closest to me is where my absolute, absolute closest family and friends are. Um, you cannot get any closer than that. Um, and then there's the next circle out, which is my close, my close friend. And then the next circle out is, you know, friends that I'm not as close to, but still good friends. And then so on and so on and so on until you just get to people you've maybe smiled at in the street once. You know, it's not everybody has to be in your inner circle and has to be, you know, the closest to you and getting all of your attention. Um, that's just not how the world works. But I think if people are moved a circle out and they're you know the kind of person who just hasn't got it about them to look inward and think okay did I contribute to that in some way if so how can I rectify that then they're gonna feel a bit some kind of way about it so that's then when you get the negativity back so so both those liners by the way were from revolution uh one is the renaissance flick liner and the other is the line and flick which I don't like the felt tip end but I love the the wind up pencil end gorgeous and um, then i'm going to go in with the nyx worth the hype mascara which i absolutely do think is worth the hype and um, i just bought a purple one of these as well so i'm dying to try that out um so yeah it's it is difficult but it's so important and you've absolutely got to be ruthless in sticking to these goals and sticking to these rules and these boundaries you're a hundred percent allowed to only surround yourself with people who lift you up who encourage you without judgment and that is actually really difficult to find because everybody's got their own version of you and it's really difficult to find somebody who will support you without judging you based on what they think you should be doing people who come at you with their version of what they think you should be doing and then sulk at you when it's not something you particularly want to do just drive me insane. They absolutely drive me mad. Almost as much as getting mascara on my lip liner. Um, and it's really, really difficult to find people who just want to see you do well in whatever field and whatever that looks like. It's really difficult. And you are absolutely within your rights to hold a space for those people and to you know, not keep the people around you that make you feel like crap, quite frankly. Um, you absolutely deserve people around you that make you feel as amazing as you are, because you are amazing. And you're well within your rights to not get on with everybody. Not everybody has to get on, not everybody will get on, that's fine. But you don't need to be a bitch about it. You can just say, okay, not for me, thanks, and just move on. <gasps> that in a corner gold though. Okay, so I'm using the Blush Goddess uh, blush palette from Revolution, which is, I think, my favourite blush palette. Um, right then, big old fluffy brush. Not a huge blusher wearer, as in I don't like a lot of it, but it does make a difference, definitely. <gasps> I found this in the drawer when I was getting my stuff out and thought, I can't remember what this is, so I'll just, I'll just get it out. It'll be fine, and it is basically um a baked highlighter powder from birchbox um and oh my god i've forgotten how beautiful it is look at it so cute and i feel like because i've used kind of will that go is that too purple where the others are too pinky red 
let's just do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just using the same fluffy brush. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, oh my god. No, right, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, I love it. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> oh my god. from within glow rather than the tin man situation you would just go over that again with your um, foundation brush or your beauty blender and it'll just it'll just tone it right down me however i like a bit of tin man oh. okay. right well that that then that works okay okay Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows, which I'm not doing, gonna try and do whilst having a conversation. I've also lined my lips with my favourite lip liner, Shofa from Revolution, and um, I'm now just gonna whack on my favourite gloss, which is the uh, Lip Lingerie Gloss. There we go. Still getting me around all these different finishes on the Lip Lingeries because they are traditionally matte. Um, but this is the gloss version of the Euro Trash shade, and I love this paired with the show for lip liner. Absolutely love it. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope, I hope you're all setting boundaries and I hope that you're just being a nice person to yourself. I hope that you're being kind to people and I hope that you are being encouraging and motivating and positive and um, helpful and kind, but I hope you're doing that for yourself the most. And if that means cutting people out, do it. You are not responsible for the happiness of other people. Don't go out, and when I say it's not your responsibility to make other people happy, that doesn't mean go out and be an absolute idiot to people and make people miserable. That's not what I'm saying at all, so don't try it. Obviously, be nice to people. Obviously, try and make the world a better place. But if somebody else is just, if you're just hitting a brick wall with somebody and you're kind of going 99.9% .9 and they're giving you a 0.1% sometimes, then no, people have got to meet you halfway and the kind of the balance will tip a little bit because sometimes they'll need you a bit more, sometimes you'll need them a bit more, but it will tip both ways. It isn't just you meeting them 60, 40 and then they need something sometimes, but then when you need something, no, that's, and then you've got to bring yourself back up again, but then they need something. No, absolutely not. You've got to be getting equal to what you're giving. Otherwise, it's just not, it's not worth it. And I know that sounds really harsh, and it isn't at all. I will absolutely always help somebody. I will absolutely always support somebody, but I'm not responsible for everybody else. So I hope that's kind of made sense to everybody, and, um... You know, if I've kind of cut you off and you're still sat here watching, then then there we go. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, if it's got to that point and somebody thinks you're a bitch for putting yourself first and for having to remove their negative influence and, and just bad juju, then, then maybe, maybe you're a bitch. There we go. Maybe I am one. Oh, setting spray. Totes forgot my setting spray, so I'm going to use today the Revolution Glow Fix, um, because who doesn't like a bit of a glow? But I think our highlighter has done that for us, I think. So yeah. <gasps> Love it. Oh, look at that. It just sets, it just sets all the powder in place and just leaves it really glowing. Can I point out that I'm like gushing over the makeup finish, not my face in general? <laughs> like I'm just looking at my face going, I love it so much. <laughs> See what I don't love? Lippy on my teeth. No, thank you. Um, so yeah, that's me pretty much done. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that bit. That bit where you let your hair down. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, so I really hope you found this video useful. Um, I really hope that um, you agreed with what I'd said. If you also now think I'm a bitch, then sorry. I suppose. Um, but I hope it's all made sense and I hope you've been able to find it useful. Um, and I just hope that you're living the best life ever. So if you enjoyed this one, please, please go and support me by giving the video a thumbs up, by leaving a comment and by, of course, subscribing if you haven't already. It would be lovely to have you in the Layla Land family. Also, it is also my, almost even, my favourite time of year. And we all know that the content gets a bit hoogly from from in a couple of weeks onwards. Um, does anybody remember hoogah? Is hoogah still a word that we're all using? Are we are we still no? Okay. So hoogah, if you weren't on the craze, is basically the Danish word for living a cosy, happy lifestyle, and it's that feeling. I mean, you can do it in summer as well, but you know, when you like in the depths of winter and you've got your cosy candles on and you've got your, your favourite sweater on, you know that feeling you get where you're just like, oh, yep, that's hygge. Um, You can do it all year round. It doesn't need to be in winter. But for me, my favourite time of year when I can get the candles out, I can get the cosiness going. I'm very much an autumn girl and we're nearly there. So do go and subscribe because there's going to be lots of um, lots of lovely, cosy, autumnal, warming, welcoming content coming. Don't know what this is, but let's just go with it. Okay. Um. So yeah, go and subscribe, like it, comment, and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day. I love you lots. Bye.